multiplication, understanding the column method. What is 23 into 12? We have already seen the lattice method of multiplication. Let's see how to do 23 into 12 by the lattice method. We draw the box and write 23 as 20 and 3 on one side. We draw an extra row and write 12 as 10 and 2 on the other side. Now multiply and write each answer in the box. Add all the numbers in the boxes. 200 plus 30 plus 40 plus 6 is equal to 276. There is also another way of multiplying. The column method. Let us do it by the column method. We write the numbers one below the other first. 23 into 12. We multiply 2 by the digit in the unit's place. 3 into 2 is 6. We multiply 2 by the digit in the tens place. 2 into 2 is 4. Now we start with the digit in the tens place. We put a 0 in the units place. We multiply 1 with the digit in the units place. 3 into 1 is 3. Now we multiply 1 with the digit in the tens place. 2 into 1 is 2. There are no more digits. Now we add 6, 7, 2. So that gives us our answer. Let us now understand each step that we did in this multiplication. How does this multiplication work? It works the same way as the box method as you will see. Let us have the box method solution here as well. What was the first step that we did? 3 into 2 is 6. Can you spot this calculation in the box method? What was the next step? 2 into 2 is 4. What did we do next? 1 into 3 is 3. What did we do after that? We did 1 into 2 is equal to 2. But actually, 1 of 12 is in the tens place and 2 of 23 is in the tens place too. So, we have multiplied 10 by 20, not 1 by 2. The answer is 10 into 20 is equal to 200. That is why we write 2 in the hundreds place. Can you spot this calculation in the box? There it is. We added all these things together and we got the answer 276. So, by both methods we have done the same thing. Only we have presented it differently. But usually we use the column method. It is faster because we don't have to write the numbers down again to add up. 53 into 22 is equal to... Let us try a few multiplications with the column method. We write the numbers properly one below the other and start. 
we first multiply the 53 by 2. Then we put in a 0. We multiply 53 by 3. We add the two products and we get the answer. 1696 Let's try one more. We write the numbers properly one below the other. 98 into 45 5 into 8 is 40. Now look carefully at what happens when we multiply and get a two digit number. We write the 4 on top of the next number and 0 below the line. Then we do 5 into 9. That is 45. Here we add the 4. That becomes 49. Since there are no more digits to multiply, we write 49 below the line. Since we have already added the 4, we strike it out. Then we write the 0 in the units place in the next line and we start multiplying by 4. 4 into 8 is 32. We write 3 above the next number and 2 below. Then we do 4 into 9. That is 36. Here we add the 3. That becomes 39. Since there are no more digits to multiply, we write 39 below the line. Since we have already added the 3, we strike it out. Let's try one more. We write the numbers properly one below the other. 67 into 62. 2 into 7 is 14. We write 1 on top of the next number and 4 below the line. Then we do 2 into 6. That is 12. Here we add the 1. That becomes 13. Since there are no more digits to multiply, we write 13 below the line. Since we have already added the 1, we strike it out. Then we write the 0 in the units place in the next line and we start multiplying by 6. 6 into 7 is 42. We write 4 above the next number and 2 below. Then we do 6 into 6. That is 36. Here we add the 4. That becomes 40. Since there are no more digits to multiply, we write 40 below the line. Since we have already added the 4, we strike it out. Then we add the two products and get the final answer, which is 4154. How will you multiply a three-digit number with a two-digit number? In the same way, there is no change in the method. Let us try it out. Now I'm going to show you this real quick. And this time, I'm not going to write the carry. I'm going to keep it in my mind. Okay, let's start. We write the numbers one below the other. Multiply. 234 by 5. Then put in the 0. Multiply 234 by 6. Add the products. And we get our answer. The method is exactly the same. Look at this multiplication too. It goes the same way. We write the numbers one below the other. Multiply 198 by 1. Then put in the 0. Multiply 198 by 5. Add the products and we get our answer. 
even if the number of digits increases, you know how to multiply. How will you multiply a three-digit number with a three-digit number? In the same way. There is no change in the method. In the third stage, we add two zeros as we are multiplying with hundreds. Let us try it out. We start multiplying the units. Then we put in a zero and multiply with the tens. Then we put in two zeros and multiply with the hundreds. Then we add up the numbers. And we get the final product. How will you multiply a four-digit number with a three-digit number? In the exact same way. There is absolutely no change in the method. Let us try it out. 6,234 into 125. So, do you think you'll be able to multiply big numbers now? Yes!